Park in San Antonio. And uh, we've kind of collectively decided to go to a bar, and the only bar available is uh, Coyote Ugly. And uh, Voltaire and Jamie have gone into Coyote Ugly to find the restrooms and have yet to come out. We're pretty sure they were dancing on the bar a few minutes ago. Voltaire was swinging his shirt around, pouring water all over him. Oh, and they're playing Sir Mix-a-Lot. They're... Yeah, yep. <laughs> oh, yeah. So, Donna, do you want to stand in front of the Alamo and give us a uh, explanation of why the Alamo is important? I'm really not going to do it right Alamo is important. Cause when you got a cake and you put some ice cream on top, it makes the dough much better. That's why you need to get your shit Alamo. <laughs> okay, here we go. Ready? Yeah. Commandancy of the Alamo. Next, sir, February 24th, 1836. To the people of Texas and all Americans in the world, fellow citizens and compatriots, I am besieged by a thousand or more of the Mexicans and Santa Ana, and I have sustained a continual bombardment and cannonade for 24 hours and have not lost a man. The enemy has demanded a surrender at discretion, otherwise the garrison are to be put to the sword. If the fort is taken, I have answered the demand with a cannon shot, and our flag still waves proudly from the walls. I shall never surrender or retreat. Then I call on you in the name of liberty, of patriotism, and everything dear to the American character to come to our aid with all dispatch. The enemy is receiving reinforcements daily and will no doubt increase to three or four thousand in four or five days. If this call is neglected, I am determined to sustain myself as long as possible and die like a soldier who never forgets what is due to his own honor and that of his country. Victory or death. William Barrett Travis, Lieutenant Colonel Command. P.S. The Lord is on our side. When the enemy appeared in sight, we had not three bushels of corn. We have since found in deserted houses 80 or 90 bushels and got into the walls 20 or 30 head of beeves. I have no idea what beeves are. Signed, Travis. Famous last words. So as you can see, the Alamo has absolutely nothing to do with ice cream. Which is really sad, because we'd all really like some ice cream right about now. Crap monkeys. Mm -hmm. Although there is a haagen over there. We're very sad that the haagen is not actually called the Alamode. We think that would be funny. Oh look, a bird. What is that? Some... Yeah. We came over to this fountain and now I have to pee. I have to pee too. I know. Well, there's no booze and dessert in this fountain. There is no booze nor dessert in the fountain. What's up, San Antonio? Where's your booze and dessert? We can't get. He's back. Get a ray.
It's like a bird tease. The hunter approaches slowly. Uh-oh. The prey is on to him. Yeah, see, this is good though. He's in the light. See how fancy he is? Look, he's got cool hair. What's your damage? Um, there was something on the, on a bag, and I was trying to figure out what it was, and it stopped from the Salt Lake. Dude, that was like two weeks ago. I know, and it's all over the thing. Why are you filming this? <laughs> Why? Because you never know when you're going to get a gem. Why are you making those mean faces? The video. I don't know. Look, Voltaire's not back yet. I'm Voltaire. I sit in the back and make fun of everybody. When did Voltaire become Southern? I don't know. Look at my new shoes. You can get these on the phone. Alright, check out Donna's new shoes. Put, put fetishist... Like, get your screen capture and ready. Well, you can't even... They're too close. Well, back up. Well, I... See my shoes. They're lovely, but very, very close. There we go. That's a little bit better. You're welcome. You're welcome. feeling of the minivan. Oh, yeah. There we go. <laughs> Hot leg action. What the <laughs> fuck? Get the fuck out of my van. I was walking on the ceiling with my new shoes. Just like Lionel Richie. Oh, what a feeling. We'll be fucking on the ceiling. Voltaire's in rare form tonight. Boring. <laughs> <laughs> Steve, that's boring. I know. Please. Do we need to break? Yeah, Donna's red. Donna's red case. Mm, what are you gonna do? I guess her pants have to be as big as they are. <laughs> it's not like they're gonna get any smaller. <laughs> Did you guys have a good night? Yeah. Boring. <laughs> If somebody doesn't hand me a slice of pizza, I think I'll yeah. shake it. Are you sure you want it since it's pepperoni and that didn't seem to be to your liking? <laughs> Jackass. That was brilliant. I was like, pepperoni?